Here come the facts now to ruin our show. But we won't stop because we can drink beer after this and eat seafood. We got a little Pharrell Fall foliage. What a great day to chill at Hurley's in the Tiki Bar in Midtown Manhattan, 48 between 8th and Broadway. To talk pain day pro football with you. Couple things, scottbeatsman.com is where you get all my action and everything in the College of Pro packages every week. And then standupforskateparks.org, Tony Hawk Foundation. I'm doing a charity in Beverly Hills, Sunday, October 17th. That's pain day, game day Sunday. Go on the site, standupforskateparks.org, and donate to the fund. We build skate parks for inner city youth and troubled kids all over the country. To this date, over 463 parks have been built. And we raise over a million and a half annually. So donate today and I'll see you in Lipstick City. And don't forget, Black Friday, the new Affliction Store opens at the Garden State Plaza in New Jersey. It's right where like the four and the 17 are over there. Watch this. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wow. Right on, brother. Can you dig it? I, can you feel it? Can you feel that right? I wanted to talk about a couple of games from last week that stood out to me. First of all, your G-Men winning in uh, Houston. Not only that, they were up like 24 nothing. Yep. I picked it on pain day last week. I said if they could contain Arian Foster, which they did, they have a shot at winning the game. Before you knew it, Eli, on 10-10-10, mind you, number 10, had a monster first half. 10-10 wins, traffic and weather updates on the 10s. And the G-Men went into Texas and they did the job. And they got it done. They're 3-2. and two. And as a Giant fan, I'm extremely happy. I didn't think it was going to be like this being a Giant fan. I thought it was going to be 2-3, and three, possibly 1-4. and four. They've surprised me so far. Let's see if they can keep it going. Your Raiders, for the first time in seven years, yeah, beat the buddy. Chargers. And they did it in the Black Hole. You know, the Raiders, they're like, they're a funny team. You, you, they play well, then they go back to sucking ass. And they start playing well again. I'll take any win. You know who the did. quarterback was, don't you? Campbell. It was, and he, played, and he played like he was a legitimate quarterback, so I have no complaints at all. The Redskins got it done against the Packers, and they concussed Rodgers. And how's that going to affect remain A lot of their big players like Grant, uh, Barnett, yeah, all injured. Right, after the linebacker core is gone already, I mean, that game surprised me and really disappointed me. I don't think anybody thought there was a chance in hell that the Redskins are going to beat Green Bay, let alone cover and win in overtime. It was, it was just an abomination, and, you know. Is that like the abominable snowman? Kind of, but not in winter. All right, let's talk about this week's games while they tear down a building behind us. <laughs> the Chiefs gave the Colts fits. Now they're going to Houston. Do the Texans slide again like they did against the Giants? I thought they looked awful, and maybe they're overrated. And the Chiefs' running game and defense, Vrabel and company, to me, for the first time, I said, they've arrived. They're real. I like what the Chiefs have done. What? I like what the Chiefs have done. I like what the Chiefs have done! No, I really do. I like what the Chiefs have done. They played extremely well against the Colts. That's a tough place to play. And they th they came out, and I know you're a big fan of Dexter McCluster. You like the way that kid that plays. Kid. They got speed. They got talent. They got receivers. It all depends on Castle, the way he's going to take care of the football. Their running game is, is phenomenal. I think they go. Free. I think they. I think they go into Reliance Stadium, and I think they get the job done. I don't like what the Texans showed me against the Giants, and I just think that, like you said a couple of weeks ago, you lose one, then you lose two, and then you come back to earth. The Texans are coming back to earth, and the Chiefs. What do you win. like? I'm going to go with the Chiefs too. I mean, they me a, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. They showed me a lot. When you have a great running game and a great defense, that's how you win football games. That's what they're doing right now. And the Texans, with all that talent, aren't doing a damn thing. What do you think? I like the Chiefs! That's a great call on your part! Watch this. That's service. <laughs> hey, knock it off down there! Oh! The helicopter's up there. Alright, the Ravens and Pats. Uh, the Ravens uh, got an easy win last week against the Broncos. Now they're going to Foxborough, where the Pats just don't lose games. But the Ravens are the better team. You remember what they did to the Patriots in the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is going to what? be this is going to be the exact same thing. You're gonna see the Ravens come out. Ray Rice and McGahee are gonna get the job done on the ground. And anytime Flacco can throw the ball to Bolden 
or Mason, or even Todd Heap, who's having somewhat of a resurgent year. I like the Ravens. Do you pick. think that when I'm old, y'all still call me and talk to me like this? Who do you like in the game? I like the Ravens. I mean, Flacco has all those weapons. Even T- Jay Ushmanzada has had a couple big catches here and there. I thought he was in jail. No, he's not. Oh, that's right. He caught that's that Flacco. touchdown pass against the Steelers. Who do you like? Ravens, Texans. I, I like, like the Ravens. Thanks. I like the way Come he on, does it. Come on, don't spit in my beer. All right, Falcons and Eagles. Eagles win in San Francisco. Falcons keep cruising. They won in Cleveland. They got it done by 10. I think the... Uh, Falcons can beat the Eagles, and I think they can beat Kevin Cobb. Cobb looked better than Alex Smith. He won't look better than uh, Matty Ice, baby Ryan. In my opinion, it always comes down to the quarterback. Whoever has the better quarterback wins. Matt Ryan is better than Kevin Cobb. I look for the Falcons to win the Battle of the Birds. All right. Let's talk about the Browns and Steelers. Why, you ask, because Big Ben is back, and that means it's Roethlisberger time, baby. I say the Steelers rock. The Browns at Heinz Field, and there's ketchup all over the place. I agree. There's nothing else you can say about this game. It's going to be all Steelers. Big Ben is going to come out throwing. They're going to come out running. And look for them to put up 40. I think they're going to go big time. Oh, hands down, Steelers. You don't need that. I'm not sure I caught that. I like the Steelers. Thank you. All right, now you? Browns have never stood a chance. They shirt me on this week. <laughs> shirt me? <laughs> what shirt me? That was like, you know what? That was like. Three stooges. <laughs> 20, 20 certain that he sharted. They certainly won't shart on a Sunday. Certainly. Prior to the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the uh, Jets and Broncos. Sanchez and company, Rex Ryan, go out to the Rockies to take on Gordon and the Broncos. Is there a chance we got an upset alert here in the, you know, uh, fact of the matter is when the Broncos are at home, they're tough to beat and they got a passing game. And they've been in games the last two weeks. I know uh, Baltimore beat them. But they won on the road in Tennessee. You saw what Tennessee did to Dallas. Is this, is this a chance to maybe snag points and take a team on the road uh, that, that may stumble and go with the Bronx in their building? There's two factors. Yeah, actually three factors here that I don't like the Jets. The three factors are the emotion that's gonna that has been spent from their last game against the Minnesota Vikings and Brett Favre. You know they wanted that game, so they expended a lot of energy. They got to travel all the way to Denver in the mile high air. Teams from the East Coast and a lot of teams that don't even have to deal with the, the air problems where, from where they're from geographically. When they go to Denver, they tire have out. Have you ever had uh, an affair in the 10,000 mile club? No, 30,000 mile club? What's no. the difference? No, I've never had any affairs. I've I do it right after takeoff. Oh, okay. So anything else? But the mile high air, but also, too, the Jets want revenge in this game because the Denver Broncos came in. The old Giant Stadium, I think it was last year or a couple of years ago, and destroyed them with Peyton Hillis. Don't think the Jets that are remaining on the team have forgotten about it. They want to go into Denver and win this game. Jets or Broncos? I like the Jets! Do you think anyone can beat that team right now? I don't know! (laughs) That is awesome! What do you think? Uh, you're a Jets fan. You're taking the Jets. I'm taking the Jets. It's always my time. I'll give you other three reasons why it's the Jets. Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton. And all the running backs are hurt. Jets are rolling. Colts, Redskins. The Colts' run is over from the Super Bowl when they were in Miami in the rain when it. Peyton Manning looked awful. I've never seen him get hit that many times or throw that many bad passes. And he was upset with himself, the receivers, the line, the plays. And now they go see a team that just pulled off the upset over the Packers. Can the Redskins do it again? I don't know. I really don't know. I like what the Redskins have done. I like the way their defense has come together and the way they knocked around the Packers last weekend. But I'll tell you what, Manning is a freak. We all know that. He'll watch a lot of film. He's going to do his homework. And I guarantee you Peyton Manning, it will be the Peyton Manning of old. It's one bad game. What do you think of that team now, the Colts? You think their run's over, that they're not? I mean, all those great receivers, they can't throw a touchdown pass? At home? But I, think, but I think they're trying to figure themselves out. I don't mean to cut you off, but I think the Colts exactly. are trying to figure themselves out. What do you think? I think the Colts struggle. Every team is going to have a bad day. But Peyton Manning is the man. He's they still, lost two in a row. He still finds a way to win. Oh, they did win. That's right. They won the game. I hate myself for saying that, but I wanted them to lose. But they covered for me, so I really didn't care at the end of the day. That's a good idea on your part. Um, let's take a look at uh, who you're taking in there. I'm going to take the Colts. Peyton's too smart to make those mistakes at the same time, and the Redskins was a fluke. They stopped the 
Chiefs running game. They bend but didn't break. We should have lost that game. We were listening to it. Right. They bend but didn't break against the Chiefs with their great running game. They'll do the same thing against the Redskins. Titans and Jaguars. Uh, this one's in Jacksonville. What do you think? I think the Titans. Jaguars suck in Buffalo. Come on. It's Buffalo that they barely beat. Titans roll. All right, then I'm going to throw this game in as well. The Dolphins at the Packers. It all boils down to uh, Rodgers. If Rodgers goes, the Packers don't lose at Lambeau. If he's concussed through the week and he can't play uh, and they can't let him go, I say the Dolphins can go in there and win that football game. I'll tell you what, though. I was impressed by the backup quarterback, Matt Flynn, this whole preseason. I understand he's not playing in meaningful games. He's playing in the preseason against guys who are probably bagging groceries as we speak. But the way the kid played in the preseason, he showed that he has the ability to at least sub, you know, sub for Rodgers at least once during the season. You bag your own groceries? Game? I don't bag my own groceries. It's called, it's called Fresh Direct. I have them delivered to my apartment. And who do you like? Any chance for the fans in Green Bay? I think uh, Upset Special. You like with the Dolphins. You go with the Dolphins right there. The Packers just have an impressive. That, that's just what it comes to at the end of the day. And Rodgers might not even play. Maybe he does. He's coming off a concussion, so I'm going with the fans. So maybe the Dolphins can get to him and ring his bell. What do you think? I think they'll even be in there. Because like you said, with Chicago last week, the NFL is really strict about concussions right now with all the problems coming to them in Congress. So I think they're going to make him sick. I don't trust their backup. Their linebacker core is just in shambles right now, which is going to let Fasano get open. I think the Dolphins bounce back after the week off. Either way, we win because we have Aaron Rodgers and Matty Ice Ryan as our fantasy quarterbacks. So if Rodgers isn't in, we just throw Who's Matty Ice in. Who's now? Who's laughing now? I love this service in this place. I've always loved Hurley's. To watch Bang Day every week on 48th Street between 8th and Broadway in the theater district. It's right next to a play that everybody's talking about, and they're lined up every night for La Cacha <laughs> And did you see in the games in Helsinki the other day that Le Tendre had a goal? I did. All right, until next week from Hurley's, where we still got a little clean air outside. We're talking 75 degrees and almost sultry in the fall foliage. We'll see you next time on Pang Day from New York City. You know where to find me on the radio. And don't forget, ForrellRadio.com, ScottBeatsMan.com. Shake out. Ooh.